In the remote and mystic lands of Latin America, a peculiar creature roams the collective imagination of the people, a creature that strikes fear into the hearts of farmers, terrifies livestock, and remains elusive to modern science. This enigmatic being is none other than the Chupacabra, a cryptid whose origins are as shrouded in mystery as its nocturnal pursuits. To embark on the tale of the Chupacabra, we must journey back to the early 1990s, specifically to the island of Puerto Rico. This picturesque island, with its lush rainforests and vibrant culture, became the epicenter of the Chupacabra phenomenon. The name Chupacabra itself is a blend of two Spanish words, chupar, which means to suck, and cabra, which translates to goat. Aptly named, for the creature was believed to have a penchant for draining the blood of goats and other livestock, leaving behind a trail of lifeless and exsanguinated animals. The Chupacabra's first appearance in the annals of folklore can be traced to the small town of Mocha in Puerto Rico. It was there, in 1995, that reports of mysterious livestock deaths began to surface. Farmers and ranchers were baffled by the gruesome scene of their goats, chickens, and even pets with small puncture wounds on their bodies and completely drained of blood. These perplexing incidents sent shockwaves through the community, and soon, rumors began to swirl about a creature lurking in the shadows. Descriptions of the chupacabra varied, but a common image emerged, a creature about the size of a small bear, with reptilian scales, red glowing eyes, sharp fangs, and long, spiky quills running down its back. It was said to move silently and with incredible speed, leaving no traces except for its eerie calling card, bloodless corpses. The media caught wind of these unsettling stories, and soon, the chupacabra became a sensation, not just in Puerto Rico but across Latin America. Reports of similar livestock attacks began pouring in from Mexico, Central America, and even as far south as Chile. Each time, the chupacabra's image evolved, adapting to local fears and folklore. In some regions, it was described as a winged creature, while in others, it took on a more humanoid form. As the legend of the chupacabra spread, theories about its origins and purpose began to emerge. Some believed it was an extraterrestrial creature, while others saw it as a government experiment gone awry. But perhaps the most widely accepted theory was that the chupacabra was a modern manifestation of ancient indigenous legends, a shape-shifting, blood-sucking demon from folklore. Skeptics, on the other hand, pointed to more earthly explanations for the livestock deaths, such as predation by wild animals, disease, or even simple superstition leading to the scapegoating of a mythical creature. Despite the skepticism, the chupacabra myth persisted, and it even made its way into popular culture. It appeared in movies, TV shows, and books, further cementing its place in the pantheon of cryptids. In the end, whether the chupacabra is a genuine cryptid or a product of collective imagination remains a mystery. It has left an indelible mark on Latin American folklore and continues to capture the imagination of those who dare to venture into the realms of the unexplained. The Chupacabra, a creature born in the shadows of rural Puerto Rico, now roams the vast landscape of myth and legend, forever haunting the realms of the unknown. The Chupacabra, with its enigmatic presence, is often depicted as a malevolent and bloodthirsty creature. But the question remains, what does it want, and does it have any goals beyond its nocturnal hunts? In the rich tapestry of chupacabra lore, one recurring theme is the creature's insatiable thirst for blood. The chupacabra is said to prey primarily on livestock, particularly goats, chickens, and other domestic animals. Its modus operandi involves puncturing its victims with sharp fangs, draining them of their blood, and leaving behind a lifeless, bloodless carcass. 
This macabre behavior has led many to believe that the chupacabra's sole purpose is to quench its unrelenting thirst for blood. However, the chupacabra's motives, if indeed it has any, remain shrouded in mystery. Some speculate that it may be driven by a primal instinct to feed and survive, much like any other predator. Others, influenced by the supernatural elements of the legend, suggest that the chupacabra could be a malevolent entity, a sort of blood-sucking demon sent to terrorize rural communities. In the realm of cryptozoology and paranormal investigation, there are those who believe the chupacabra serves a more sinister purpose. Some conspiracy theories propose that it could be a genetically engineered creature, created in secret government labs and released into the wild as part of covert experiments. According to this line of thinking, its goal would be to instill fear and chaos among rural populations, possibly as a form of psychological warfare. Yet, it's important to note that the chupacabra's existence itself is still a matter of debate. Skeptics argue that the reported livestock deaths attributed to the chupacabra can often be explained by natural causes, such as predation by wild animals or diseases. In this view, the chupacabra's goals may simply be the product of folklore and superstition. In the end, the chupacabra's true intentions, if it indeed exists, remain a perplexing enigma. Whether it is a creature driven by primal instincts, a supernatural entity sent to south fear, or a creation of human imagination, the legend of the chupacabra continues to captivate and mystify, leaving us to wonder about the secrets it may hold in the depths of the night. The notion of chupacabras having enemies is a fascinating facet of the cryptid lore, and while it's not a widely explored aspect, there are some intriguing perspectives. In the realm of chupacabra mythology, it's often suggested that these elusive creatures may have enemies in the form of local farmers, ranchers, and communities whose livelihoods are threatened by the chupacabra's alleged attacks on livestock. Given that chupacabras are often blamed for the deaths of goats, chickens, and other domestic animals, it's not surprising that those who depend on these animals for their sustenance and income would view the cryptid as an adversary. In regions where chupacabra sightings and attacks have been reported, there have been efforts to hunt or capture the creature. These actions are driven by fear, economic concerns, and a desire to protect one's livelihood. Some communities have organized search parties or enlisted the help of hunters to track down and eliminate the perceived threat of the chupacabra. Interestingly, within the context of chupacabra lore, there is a notion that these creatures may have adversaries in the form of other supernatural beings or cryptids. In some stories, chupacabras are depicted as rivals or enemies of other mythical creatures, such as the moth man or skinwalkers. These narratives add a layer of complexity to the cryptid's existence suggesting that it may not exist in isolation but as part of a broader, supernatural ecosystem. It's important to emphasize that these ideas about chupacabra enemies are rooted in folklore, mythology, and urban legends rather than concrete evidence. The chupacabra's existence itself remains a subject of debate, and there is no scientific consensus on the matter. In the world of cryptids and the paranormal, the idea of chupacabras having enemies adds depth and intrigue to the ongoing mystery surrounding these creatures. Whether they are pitted against humans seeking to protect their livelihoods or engaged in supernatural rivalries with other mythical beings, the chupacabra remains an enigmatic and captivating figure in the realm of cryptozoology. The idea of chupacabra hunters brings to mind a mysterious and often controversial aspect of the cryptid lore. While there have been no documented instances of individuals successfully hunting chupacabras, there have been reported efforts in various regions where chupacabra sightings and livestock attacks have occurred. In the summer of 1995, 
the tranquil town of Canavanas in Puerto Rico was about to become the epicenter of a chupacabra frenzy. The setting was the rural home of Madeline Tolentino, a resident of the area. One fateful night, Madeline made a shocking discovery that would soon capture the world's attention. It was well past midnight when Madeline heard the eerie sounds of her dogs barking incessantly in the backyard. Anxious and alarmed, she ventured out with a flashlight to investigate. What she encountered left her petrified. In the beam of her flashlight, Madeline spotted a strange, otherworldly creature. It was unlike anything she had ever seen before. The creature was small, with spiky quills running down its back, sharp fangs, and red, glowing eyes that seemed to pierce the darkness. To make matters even more unsettling, it appeared to be feasting on one of her beloved pets, a goat. Terrified and convinced that she was face to face with the dreaded chupacabra, Madeline screamed, alerting her family and neighbors. The commotion drew a small crowd, all of whom witnessed the bizarre creature. News of the chupacabra sighting in Canavanas quickly spread, and it wasn't long before media outlets descended on the town. The creature's description matched the typical chupacabra features that had become ingrained in Puerto Rican folklore. The fear and fascination that had surrounded the legend of the chupacabra were now playing out in real life. Local authorities and veterinarians examined the slain goat and other animals in the area. They were baffled by the puncture wounds and the complete lack of blood in the carcasses. Speculation and theories about the creature's origins and motives ran rampant. Was it an alien being? A government experiment gone awry? Or simply a cryptid with a taste for blood? In the end, the Canavanas Chupacabra incident remained unsolved, like so many other reported sightings around the world. While skeptics attributed the deaths to natural causes or predation by wild animals, the legend of the chupacabra had firmly taken root in the public consciousness. It became a symbol of the unknown, a creature that blurred the lines between reality and myth, and a reminder that even in the modern age, mysteries can still emerge in the darkness of the night. Certainly, let's delve into a real-life chupacabra sighting that stirred both fear and curiosity. Our story takes us to the small town of Canavanas in Puerto Rico, where one of the earliest and most widely reported chupacabra incidents occurred. Beyond the commonly known chupacabra stories, there are variations in the creature's origins. In some accounts, it is believed to be a result of supernatural rituals or curses. It's said that certain individuals with dark intentions can summon the chupacabra through occult practices setting it loose upon unsuspecting communities. This aspect of chupacabra lore reflects the human fascination with the mysterious, and the idea that some forces can be harnessed for malevolent purposes. In some regions, particularly in Mexico and parts of Central America, the chupacabra has been linked to indigenous folklore. Some stories suggest that it is a modern interpretation of ancient indigenous legends about shape-shifting creatures or blood-drinking spirits. This connection between the chupacabra and indigenous cultures adds depth to the cryptid's story and underscores its place in the rich tapestry of native mythologies. The chupacabra's influence extends beyond folklore. In Puerto Rico, for example, the legend has inspired art, music, and literature. It's not uncommon to find chupacabra-themed paintings and sculptures that capture the creature's eerie essence. Musicians have composed songs about the cryptid, and authors have woven chupacabra tales into their works of fiction. This cultural impact highlights the enduring fascination with the creature. Not all chupacabra sightings are genuine. Over the years, there have been numerous hoaxes and pranks related to the cryptid. Some individuals have fabricated chupacabra encounters for attention or to generate fear in their communities. These instances blur the line between fact and fiction, 
further contributing to the mystique surrounding the creature. While the Chupacabra is perhaps the most famous blood-sucking cryptid, it's not alone in the world of folklore. Other similar creatures exist in various cultures around the globe. For example, the Philippines has the Mananangal, a female creature that detaches its upper body to prey on the living. These cryptid cousins demonstrate the universality of certain fears and the creative ways in which different cultures have expressed them. In the ever-evolving world of folklore and urban legends, the Chupacabra remains a captivating enigma. Its stories, myths, and interpretations continue to grow and adapt, reflecting the ever-changing human relationship with the unknown and the enduring fascination with creatures that defy explanation.